Okay, so this is the definitely kind of weather you want to stay inside. What do you say about that, Lee? Stay inside weather? Okay. So, yesterday I carved this uh, moon, moon spirit quickly. This is Western Red Cedar. This is the face grain here, okay? This side here is the face grain. Right here, this is the edge grain. So you guys, I suggest when you do your carvings and you want to do this, do this burn project, what's it called, show Sogi Don, or something like that, you carve the face grain, guys. So I'm gonna take this outside and burn, burn it real good. I did these lines pretty deep. This is not a detailed wood spirit carving because if you do details, guys, you'll lose all you'll lose all the detail. You know? Actually, I just see that line inside the eye there. I need to go clean that up before I burn it. So I'm going to use a torch and burn this, and then I'm going to dye it. And you can also see here the eyebrows are pretty thin here. And the nose so I'm not gonna burn the face too much I'm gonna burn the hell out of this stuff here I carved it all the way around I'm gonna burn the hell, the hell out of all this stuff to get the grain to really pop but I'm not gonna burn the face too much and when I'm burning the face to keep these eyebrows from burning away because you can burn everything all your detail away I'm gonna get my water ball and really soak these things here okay spray it on when I'm burning the nose spray the eyebrows and vice versa Okay, so let's get it outside and take care of some business. Some guys that make this shogi band stuff suggest not to use this gas as map gas it burns a lot harder but the question is is it the real map gas anymore these days I've been told that some company still makes these in the yellow tank say it's map gas but it's not the true map gas anymore and it doesn't burn quite as hot as the real map gas so I'm using this it's all I got around anyways whatever what the hell right okay guys so what I'm doing here is burning really really deep on the uh outside where not the faces outside of the face so you see those hot red coals coming and they call it when it's black they call it a crocodile effect like it's all black and cracked here I am with the little water bottles pre-spraying the eyebrows so they don't burn out and they don't lose the complete eyebrows when I'm burning in the face because I'm going to be burning in the face coming up here now Terrible, terrible cameraman. Terrible cameraman. I think he should be fired. So yeah, here you go. I'm just uh, doing the eyebrows quick. Get my water bottle and spraying it so it doesn't keep burning. When you're done burning, always take off your handle from your tank, in my opinion, so you know it's not slowly burning away. Here's a white uh, bristle brush, two, one harder, one softer. And I'm going to start taking away the coal, the char. Can see the wood. The more that you do this, the more brighter you're going to make the wood. Mm -hmm. So the more that you guys do that with your brush, the more the wood's going to become brighter again. So the more time you spend on it, the better it's going to turn out. So there you can see, I can see some see the grain pops in there. That's the face grain, guys. Wood spirit doesn't look too great, but whatever. Okay, I'm using my little flap sander just to touch the high points. Actually, I go over the whole thing to brighten it up. See that real high point? I hit really, I hit a lot. Look how much brighter it is. And that's going to really show when you, when you apply your dye. Wiping out, wiping out with a wet, wet, warm rag, all the dust off and the black char because this will come in effect when you do your dye stain with your paintbrush. 
so you're not um, infecting it you know making your dye turn black so there you can see the face grain here's the edge grain so look how you can barely see it on the edge grain you can't see it but nowhere near uh -uh, thumbs down face grain yes thumbs up okay so the eyes are I didn't burn in there enough so I'm gonna get some paint and uh, dry feather it in what's it called dry stroking it you get a paintbrush see I got some black paint in there just put your paintbrush in there and fit so it's almost dry and just feathering it out the paint so it doesn't look like there's a big line in there and I did the mouth with the two thumbs up okay here's the dye I'm gonna be using the stuff I'm in Canada this stuff's from Lee Valley this is a uh, bright crimson red Great crimson. So here's the powder. And as I've learned and as I've been told, you don't need that much powder. There's a brush just to do the face. I'm going to detail the face with the brush because I want the face to be red and the outside to be yellow. So I've been told you don't need much powder. Look, the little tiny bit I got, I probably don't even need that much. I'm terrible for making too much and throwing lots away. So if you guys want to save money, just use the amount that you need. Okay, it's got to sit 20 minutes, 2 oh, 20 minutes to, uh, and there's some yellow stuff that's pre-mixed too. I'm going to do some high points, the nose and the eyebrow with the yellow first. Here goes the red. It sat for 20 minutes so all the dyes could dilute with the water. Warm water. Excuse me. So now I'm doing the yellow. So I want yellow and red turned to orange with this dye well any colors so I thought it would dilute doing a color transition from red to orange to yellow so I'm whipping off the dye dry clean rig now I don't like how it didn't translute. I don't like this piece the way it looks. The yellow really didn't pop in my opinion. I don't know what I'm pointing out there. But you see the red, it just looks too. You can see the yellow there. The red just looks too red and too so you're never going to know the true color unless you don't dry it off. I, I don't have patience, so I use the air dryer. You can use a blow dryer if you want. That's how you're going to see the true colors in the piece, guys, once it's dry. Here's true colors. I don't like it. Let's redo it. So what am I doing? I'm putting yellow over the face here to try and mix the colors, blend them together. It was just too red for me. It didn't look right. Excuse me. So hopefully that the colors will blend in more together. Now I'm resetting the high points with some uh, 240 or 220 sand grit. Now I'm just going to uh, reapply some red to the high points. Just to give it different characters of the piece, right? Actually, you know what? Let's just do the whole thing. Screw it. I don't like that yellow color. So I believe this is our final color guys. Wood spirit's not the best, but whatever, it burned it all away. And I knew that when I carved it. So I'm happy with it, a lot happier with it at this point. It looks like kind of flames in there. So here I am drawing it again to get the true color because once it's when the wood's wet, it's darker, right? So I think you can see on this video it really lightening up. Look right there. Here's the true color. There's the side grain. See how deep it burnt there. 
and there's more side grain on the other side. Like it doesn't have to be a wicked wood spirit in there, it's a moon spirit. You can see I burnt away, well, see how far, like I didn't burn it that much, look how much detail I lost on the, look. So it just goes to show you, if you're planning on doing detail and burning, well, I don't know man. Take your time. Okay guys, I just want to say that I've lacquered it before you see all this next stuff that has a coat of lacquer on it. Yeah.